Hi. Hi, guys. This is some shit that we're not going to fucking do. Nah, bitch. You want to know what the fuck happened? You come and you fucking ask me. You don't make up shit like this. This is some fucking bullshit. Mm Mm-mm. Hold on a second. That's not... That's not what we're going to do. Okay? A traumatic brain injury, which is something that my husband did have. That is true. And as much as, let's see, what was it the other day that got brought in here that I shoved him down the stairs and I, I did this to him or whatever. I've actually told this fucking story a few times on here. Okay. And if you, I don't know, pull your head out of your fucking ass, you would know that TBIs, uh, actually break up marriages All the fucking time. Okay? But that... That is what we're not going to do. We're not going to put that on Jeff. And we're not going to put that shit on me. And we're not going to spread that type of bullshit on the fucking internet. Because that is straight up fucking lie. Exactly, Laura. That is a straight up fucking lie. And I'm not, I'm not going to let that fucking slide. Ever. That will never fucking slide with me. Because that's not okay. Thank you, Boquifa. Here, I'll show it to you. Here, this is this is what she said to Jeff. No. Mm mm. I love you too. Yeah, so this is all because I called her out for the way that she manipulates Steven with the whole what having him what spank the tree and all this shit and flirting with him when she knew nothing was ever going to come of it. She's just playing head games with a slow adult or autistic or whatever the fuck he is. And then she comes at me with this bullshit and then says that you make fun of the mentally ill on here and all this other bullshit. I make fun of the mentally ill on here. Okay. Sure. No, that was in Greg's scope. And it's not Greg's fault. Like it, it was carried over from uh Don Lod's scope when I just popped into Greg's and she was in there too. <clears throat> right, she's, Heather. She's fucking uh, I don't know what the fuck her deal is. I don't know if she's mentally handicapped too or what the fuck. But no, Steven, not no. It's not about you, Steven. It's it's not it's not it hasn't have anything to do with you, so don't worry about it. It's about her. So we're going to just address her. It doesn't have anything to do with you, man. No offense. I'm not. It, it, you're fine, about. Steven. It's not. It's not about. Exactly. Victoria. It's, about, it's about her and her words. It doesn't have anything to do with you. Thank you, Kirby Cutie. 
That's a hundred percent what I try to do. I a hundred percent try to get people to understand mental illness on the So I'm wondering like not fucking make fun of it, not go after it. And it's okay to observe what people are putting on the fucking internet. But this fucking cunt wants to come at you and wants to come at me. Yeah, I make fun of them. Mm Mm-hmm. You know where this is all coming from, too? This is coming from, like, she must have been around, like, for a while. And this is, like, carried over shit from Heinz. That would be my guess. Because that's that's Heinz bullshit. That's Heinz bullshit story. Right. So she's obviously been on the app for a while and saw that shit. Hung on to it. I don't know anything about you, Stephen. I'm not a medical doctor. I don't know what your diagnosis is. Anyway, Stephen, like, this isn't really about you. It's about her and her being reckless with her words and making bullshit up and believing bullshit and trying to spread bullshit because she's trying to defend herself. All I did was call her out on things that I observed, her behavior, what she does on this app. And then she brings up things that she has no fucking clue about that weren't on the app about uh, Dana's past. That she's spoken about. She, so she's perpetuating a bullshit that some fucking drunk crackhead in Illinois made up a year ago. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, that. that's exactly how this all played out. You know? And I've, I have admitted that I let people on here think that my ex had passed away. I have admitted that. I've owned up to that. And yes, you want, and he knew it. He knew I did that, and, and it was a decision that we actually made for his fucking privacy, so none of you fucking creeper asses would try to dig him up, essentially. It was something that, that him and I would even joke about, okay? So, yeah, that's my biggest fucking sin on this app, is letting someone, and, and I guarantee you, by the way, that most people on here, if they had that, if they could make that choice, would probably do the same thing. If they could somehow keep their family protected from this app, would 100% do the exact same thing. And you know what? The reality of it is, is this person that all these people are just like, oh, let's see, they've called him crippled. They've uh, called him brain dead and all this stuff. Um, I was texting with him this morning. <laughs> right, Johnny? Meanwhile, this, I'm not even, I mean, I mean, you know, like, like everyone get, wants to but, act but, like I just, like I abandoned him in a fucking hospital bed. Like, I feel, should I, should I say some things about what's going on or no? No, go ahead. So I'll just say one thing. Or Puff stop. Sorry, Puff's being a crackhead. So he's not some invalid sitting in a rocking chair with a drool cup, okay? This guy is, his, because of you and research you've done and from his own um, due diligence, is in a better place now. And, yes. and since you guys have split up, he's had two different girlfriends. So it's not like he's sitting all alone. Still, you know, Stormy left me. I'm abandoned. Like he's had two, at least two girlfriends since breaking up with you. Yes. And you, and you've, and you, you've just both moved on with your lives. Yes. We had, it's, I've talked about it before. We, him trying to have a family and recovery reached a point where the decision had to be made between one and the other. And, and even I encouraged him to make the decision for his health because I would much rather have him to be a father to our child and not live with us than to have his, his health diminishing and just be physically present. Okay. And, and it was what it was and it was incredibly difficult, but the benefits of that are the fact that he, he did improve immensely. He focused a hundred percent on his recovery in a way that he couldn't before. It was awful, Mia. 
And, I mean, and, and and he can now when our exactly when Poodle needs him most in these preteen and heading into these teen years, he can now, you know, be the father that he couldn't have been when, you know, he wasn't able to focus a hundred percent on his health. Cause he has, just like Jeff said, he's improved. He's had girlfriends and relationships and he goes on vacations and he does, and he lives his fucking life, you know? <clears throat> and the last thing I need is people harassing me, like saying I fucking threw him down the stairs, saying he's an invalid, saying he's in a hospital bed, drooling into a fucking cup saying like all that it's just a bunch of bullshit and there's people on this app that actually know that know this and have known this and can tell you that they're just just one more like it's fine i didn't abandon some fucking person in a fucking hospital bed it's insanity to think that just just to to reiterate one thing too is that uh haley baby hooker like knew all of this knew the whole story and the whole journey and she still fed bullshit information so if you if if some of you wonder like why did stormy and and baby hooker wrong and what what happened there it's because he's corrupt Yeah, not that Haley. That's the good Haley. <laughs> okay, so. Hi, Dex. Hey. Oh. Sorry, Jeff. To cut. I just wanted to real quickly say, um, Uh oh, wait. Can you try? Can you call right back in, Bex? Uh oh, I know this. Of course, this fucking app is trash. Okay, try calling back in and see if that'll fix it. Cause I couldn't hear you either. <sighs> oh, here, Lo. Let me show you what set me off this morning. I can hear Lo yelling from across the hall. <laughs> Is that real life? Yeah. Like. Okay, Bex, I can see you. I, I just want to know where, like, do people just, like, come up with these ideas? Do they see, like, a Lifetime movie and they're like, that's what Stormy did? Yeah, like, that is the most off-handed, far-fetched comment I've ever seen in my fucking life, and right. I've met the dude. So, right, and I'm right. Sure he's not the fucking in his pants. I was gonna say, the... did you fucking change his diaper when he? No, I'm pre- no, I'm pretty sure he picked me up. Fucking... So, I'm pretty sure he was the one driving. So, like, what the fuck? Do people think he's like a cripple, like paraplegic somewhere? Like, because well, that's what fucking Haley, Haley told everyone. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she also told them told everyone that you know I left him in his fucking dying in his hospital bed for a job. Oh, because oh. when I met him, he was he was fine, right? Yeah, the his multiple girlfriend. The, yeah, the multiple times that I've met him, so he, I'm pretty sure he can ambulate and walk and yeah. is fine and has coherent speech. And okay, <laughs> wow, wow, get your fucking life together, Periscope. I really hate, I really hate that this fucking app won't let people call in because I really wanted to hear what Bex had to say. Um, I'm, I'm floored that anybody thinks that I'm on here laughing at the mentally ill, by the way. I, I don't, I really don't. <laughs> right, Aaron? True, Rabbit. Very true. Um. It is awkward. It makes, yes, sometimes people have behaviors on here that make you laugh. Okay. 
but it doesn't mean like I'm not sitting there la- like I don't think that they're foolish for having those behaviors. I think that you know I really try to explain that it that these are things that they can't control. These are things that you know that we need to be a little more accepting of. And yes, sometimes they're going to make you fucking giggle. They're going to make you laugh. They're going to be outrageous. But I really, truly have always tried to come on here. Exactly, Laura. And be like, you know, we like, yeah, we can kind of laugh and we can kind of giggle. Thank you. Um, but at the same time, we also need to kind of open up and un- understand that you know, it's coming from a place of illness and illness is something that people can't control. And that's the biggest thing I always tell people on here. Illness is individual and illness is uncontrollable. People cannot control, you know, when they have cancer and people can't control when they have schizophrenia. And so it's frustrating that, that anybody thinks that I'm on here trying to make fun of the mentally ill. I, I'm sorry that you essentially don't listen to me long enough to, to recognize what I'm, what I'm trying to do. And I'm also very much, I try to talk about it in real terms, in terms that people, that anybody can understand, that anybody can grasp, you know, his memory erased and sometimes things have to end to heal. Tenny, that's exactly it. And that, that's a perfect way to put it. Um, it's, you know, deciding to end my marriage was impossible. It was one of the most impossible, heartbreaking, horrific things I've ever done. And I've talked about it on here I've talked I've talked about it with Jeff. Poodle's dad was one of those once in a lifetime relationships. And that doesn't take away from my relationship with Jeff. At all. But anybody who has any experience with TVI knows Exactly, Aaron knows how painful this is to deal with and how you you were put in a position of having to mourn a person that's still alive. Exactly, Tenny. Exactly. And and we had to make difficult decisions that caused us to put, it's a traumatic brain injury, um, that caused us to say, you know, what do we do? Do we put your healing first? Do we put our desire to stay together first what do we do and that and we decided to put his healing first because I because he was reaching he was had reached a point where things weren't getting better you know and and they weren't good And we had to do what we had to do. And the upside to it is, is we did this so exactly, KJ. That's very similar, Carrie. And and we put his health first so he could be a dad now and we got lucky because it has paid off to where he is being a dad now to poodle 
So I can only sit here and tell you that I, I'm pretty sure I did the right thing. You know? Um, and yeah, does it, does it suck that? Exactly, Laura. <laughs> right, Erin? Yeah, does it suck? Does it suck to, you know, not be parents together like we planned and all of that? Yeah, kind of. But at the same time, he's alive and he's healthy and he doesn't have to be in a, you know, a skilled nursing program or anything. He doesn't have to have a nurse. He doesn't have to have 24 care. He doesn't have to have any of this stuff. So, you know, but to, but to try to, to make that decision ugly. Making that decision, that family decision ugly by trying to say I left. For, for anybody. is really fucking foul is really low and that is really fucking foul and it's something I will never ever tolerate ever um yeah that's not that's not ever gonna be okay Ever. There's nothing ugly about that decision. And it's never. So, you know. It's just gross. You know, exactly. I think I will. And, and I mean, you know. I'm typically not one to say. hey, I did this or you did that or any of that kind of stuff. But at the same time, like, come on, you really... What you're... What the stuff she did with Steven is so wrong. It's very wrong. And do I think she should, you know have to pay for that the rest of her life no but I really I really exactly Doug uh, that, that's just not a, that's never okay like that's it, it, it was cruel in my opinion on on many levels Um, <laughs> I have to end on, on happy. I have to end on. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. I know, I know. I've been sitting here in shock. I do. I do, indeed. Um, I mean, she's talked about struggling with, with some issues, so... So I have Nug Nugget just plopped down in front of me and decided to just give herself a bath with all her fluff and cuteness. Oh, Laura, that's awesome. Yeah, Kobe Bryant really died. Can you believe that? I mean, I'm just shocked. Thanks, Jules. I agree, Maggie. Thank you, Guru. I agree, Mama Gerd. That's really it. That that's just it. Roach killer. <laughs> that's funny. Look, she's she's getting cleaned up to go hunt some roaches. No, I actually don't have roaches because I like. Yes, I have a billion animals, but I also am like 
horrified by bugs. So if I, if I find look, if I find a fucking flea, then everybody, everybody in the house is getting flea baths, and I'm like fumigating and burning the house down and rebuilding in a day. <laughs> I know she did. She was like, "Oh, a bug." <laughs> Heather, okay, Heather, that was funny. Married a flea, a total twat. <laughs> Look, I saw a roach outside. Literally saw a roach outside, and I and I and I called the exterminator and was like, "There is roaches outside." And they're like, "Well, they're known for in this area." I'm like, "Well, they're not going to be known for in my area, so let's come on out here and do something about it." <laughs> Sorry, Roach. <laughs> Rick Fox did too. Oh my God. No. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Do you too much? They say I'm too clean. Oh God, that's so funny. Yeah, no, I just like, I lose it. Wow. <laughs> exactly, Kelly. That's what we do. That's That's what we do. You guys, I'm looking up to see if there's anything um the latest news on the Kobe Bryant thing before I end this. It's crazy. It's really sad. <laughs> you guys know his his he just they just had a baby like six months ago. Yeah, they <laughs> they have they have a baby. Um, they have a baby, like a little six month old baby. Oh my gosh, there's so many YouTubes and stuff up now. That's wild. That's so sad. So there's five, five dead in the crash. That's awful. see if this is still this is at the like scene and that's true now I'll show you right here this is the video and just like live from the scene or whatever Nugget, you're getting fur everywhere, and now I have to wash my sheets again. That's sad. Just, like, right into the hillside? I used to go, um... I used to go flying with my dad and his best friend in a helicopter all the time. Like, I don't... I'm one of the... A lot of people are really freaked out by helicopters, and I'm not at all. Yeah, this is in Calabasas. This is in Southern California. I'm not surprised it's still burning. <laughs> um, road trip. I have. I have a competition in Southern in California next week, so I will be road tripping. Um, the fuel will burn for quite some time. Hey, train. That's true, Kelly. I'm not sure if they did. But yeah, I've never had... Um, Oh, this is on Facebook. Let's see if I can show you the 
Facebook page it's on without. Let's see. TMJ4. Yes, I watched Cheer. Did I jump a plane? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen... Some people said that his kids were on board, but I haven't seen anything that said... The only things I've seen have said that his wife was not on board. Would I jump if I knew it was going to crash? God, that's a tough question. I think... Um, <laughs> You're right, Kelly. Okay. I think it depends on um, what was happening in the crash, to be honest. Look at the burn in on that screen, on that phone. It's so bad. Um, I think it would, would truly not uh, the, the situation. But I mean, I've flown in a helicopter many, many times and I've never felt, I mean, maybe once out of all the times that I've been in a helicopter, have I ever been like, oh, this is a little uncomfortable. Like, this is a little icky. In Dallas? Yes, I will be in Dallas in February. CNN said his wife and four children. Youngest was seven months. Oh, I thought his wife wasn't. 70, 70. Oh, my God. Seven 70-year-olds by far. Right, Kelly? I mean, I think the worst part is, is when you, um, I mean, if it's one of those like spinny type crashes as you're like getting closer to the ground, like that's like horrific. We've totally completely gone off the rails with the scope, but that's okay. No kids and wife on there. I mean, honestly, reports are going to be conflicting for probably half the day. Exactly, Tommy. Yeah, there was there's fog down there today. Bike riders who put a seeing it going down. Oh, I see. <laughs> um. I mean, everything's just going to be kind of all over the place all day. But yeah, that's... They'll wait. For anyone who doesn't know why they're not, like, actively putting this fire out, is they'll, they'll, they want the fuel to burn off, essentially. Hi, Zoe. Um... So they'll, they'll wait for that as much as, you know, as long as they can. Exactly, Holly. Oh, they ended their live stream. Look, and there's a... Yeah, it's on a hill. So they crashed into a hill and it caught fire. Hi, Nugget. <laughs> yeah, there's a little Nugget foot. She's being very cute. Yeah, it was the fire department stand, like standing there making sure it didn't catch on to the brush. It's, um, but it was foggy down there. She is super fluffy. Our little caught fire, then they crashed. That would make sense. Um, <laughs> do you need some eyebrows ready? She's like, no. Let's see. Let's look at your cute little paws. She has some. You can see she's got multicolored paws. Did I touch your paw? <sighs> Nugget is still looking for a home. So if anybody wants multicolored fluffy toe beans, let me know. She can be adopted anywhere in the United States or Canada. Pretty 
made it perfect. Me neither, Miss Ziggy. I doubt it. My arm will chill. <laughs> they were going crazy this morning. Now, you don't have to be in a specific state. Um, I do follow Beth Stern. Um, yeah. These, um, these guys will, are exposed to cats and dogs. But, um, you know, every animal is a different relationship, so. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, Laura, right? Nugget's a cutie. Huh. Nugget is a big cutie. She, like, so doesn't want me. She, like, just wants to nap and be left alone now, and I keep touching her. I see. Oh, Mark's not up here right now. He took off. <laughs> Darla will eat him. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Nugget is bold, gets bold. Oh, I do, Kelly, all the time. Nugget is bold with the dogs. Nugget will, like, slap Dallas on the tail and all sorts of stuff. Like, she is... She is... Very bold. Yes. Yes, Laura, she is. My sweetheart. She's so mad I keep petting. She, like, just keeps giving me dirty looks. All right. I'm out of here. So, um, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. Wow, that's why. That's so weird. He's literally, like, my age, I think, too. Isn't he, like, early 40s? I saw that plutonium. <laughs> oh, like 41. Yeah. God. ABC says all four daughters were on board, but wife Vanessa not on board. Oh my God. I could not... Oh. I feel like you would just go crawl in with him. I'm sorry to say that. I don't know. Right, Jen? I don't know any other way to, to put that. You know what I mean? Yeah, they have um, they have the one that's what they say seven months old. Let's see. I'm reading the most recent update. L.A. Times. Yeah, I hope that's wrong. A fourth little in June. LA Times reporter Richard Winton reported that the mountains were fogged in, heard the plane sputter, and then a boom. So it was on fire before it crashed. Um, yeah, I see it back and forth about some saying, some saying they were and some saying they weren't. Ah, oh, that's awful. I said, yeah, and they updated the Wikipedia already. Ugh. Wikipedia killed off one of my best friends, by the way. Um, years ago, uh, who 
uh, was a race car driver. And one morning I started getting a bunch of texts. I'm looking up to see the latest information while I'm telling you guys the story. So one morning I started getting a bunch of texts and it was like, Hey, did, uh, did B die? Did he have a heart attack while he was, cause he was out of town was visiting his parents. Did B die while he was visiting his parents, blah, blah, blah. And whoever did it, they wrote Wikipedia. What they put on the Wikipedia was that like, um, you know, he was visiting his, his parents cause this happened over the holidays. Um, and like basically had a heart attack or something like that. Like this was, it was cruel, but I texted him. I'm like, uh, are you dead? And the reply was, I don't think so. Why? What's up? So when I linked him to the Wikipedia, it took three weeks to get Wikipedia to make him alive again. Um, yeah, it was really, it was, it was in the kind of younger days of Wikipedia before some of that stuff would be, you know, it just kind of ran a little more wild than it does now. And, um, and he, he had to like repeatedly prove to them before they finally would change it. Yeah. The trolling on there, the tro- they've gotten better, but the trolling on there used to be awful. Um, <laughs> But essentially, he ended up, like, sending them, because at first it was, like, send us your driver's license or send us this or send us that to prove, like, whatever. He ended up, in the end, having to send, like, a picture of, like, him with his driver's license and a newspaper, like, a dated newspaper, to be like, I'm not dead, and please stop making me dead, because... Um, it it started to kind of mess with things. Oh God, Kelly, if it's the crash I'm thinking of, oh my God. Yep. That, that crash, that's, there's crashes when you're in racing that stick with you. And that was one of them. <laughs> right, Tawny? Um, and that's one that has always stuck with me. Oh, I bet it did. He said along with four others. Yeah, all I see is a hundred, I, I they all seem to say that um, she does want to start racing this year. Oh, wow. Um, every every source says that his wife wasn't with him. But I keep seeing the same thing you guys are seeing. That it's just mixed reports on whether his kids or some of his kids or any of his kids were. Some say no. Some say yes. Ugh. Well, I really hope Uh, right, Ricky? That's what I'm thinking. I would, I mean most certainly at that age. Okay, kindness. At that age you would presumably the baby would be with the wife. So, you know, just like by context clues. But yeah, as I'm looking this, I'm just refreshing. Every time I refresh Google, it kind of comes up with something different. That's what I was wondering, Erin. I would think so, Zoe. That's probably, my guess is, is that's probably exactly what's happening. Is because they have to inform, you know, who the families of who was on the um 
on the flight with them or on the helicopter with them. Let's see, this is the most recent one. Uh, Kobe did fly. He was a pilot. Um, I can't confirm that because it, uh, he was actually kind of known for that. It spun around and crashed. Wow. Um, I would think so. Yeah, fog is... I mean, I'll t I will say, like I mentioned earlier, I've flown in a helicopter several times, but I have... Um, I've never been in a helicopter flight that was um, based off of... Uh, he wasn't the pilot. Um, well, I'm sure, Craig... true uh instruments i've never been i've only um done i've only been in helicopter flights that it... so when you have to fly based on instruments that's when it's like fog or rain or any of that kind of stuff uh, yeah i've only been in, in flights that you know, I mean, obviously I've been in helicopters that, ha you know, have that capability, but only in visual flights. Wow. Sorry, I'm back. I got the low battery notice. Whew. Yeah, that's true, Holly. That's true. That's actually a really good point. If something went wrong with the the helicopter then yeah the any fog or whatever doesn't matter that's wild okay so were you really wow rich That's crazy. Yeah. I'm sure. I say in a couple hours, but I'm sure in a couple hours we'll know, you know, more about who was with them and who. Probably won't know what happened for till they, you know. To a full investigation. That's really sad. You know, just a freaking regular old Sunday, just going home, probably, let's see, Calabasas, probably just headed home to like see your family or whatever, or maybe, you know, had morning with the family and headed out to go, you know, do something. I'm just going about your fucking life, and then that's it. He just left his house? Yeah, I mean, Calabasas, he's, like, that's either going to be coming or going, right? Uh, like, I just couldn't. <sighs> but he was known, he, for those who don't know, he was known to, like, helicopter all the time. When he played, he would, he would aim for it. Calabasas. Yeah, that's... It, Calabasas got well-known for the Kardashians. Um, so that's just awful. That's really sad. Yeah, Jeffree Star. 
right? 41. 41 and just had a baby and it was like it was like known like if you went to a Lakers game I mean people would even make comments about if you know like helicopters taking off after the game like there goes Kobe on his way home or whatever like you know (sighs) That's true. I mean, that's the thing. You know, that's the... God, isn't isn't death the great equalizer? He's spongy. That's why you have to, you know, make decisions. For, uh, you know, what's best for your life. Being the same thing you guys are seeing. That it's just mixed reports on on the status of the kids. I see some that say exactly that. I see some that say the oldest. I see some that say none. I see some that say all the kids. Kid Gianna Marie was in the copter. (sighs) That's awful. His poor widow. I couldn't. Losing. Your spouse. Uh, 13 I think she is. I think his oldest is 13. It will Holly. You know losing your spouse. is, Is one thing. And that sounds. That sounds like a very weird thing to say. I feel like that that's something you're, I don't want to say prepared for, but in life you think, you know, my parents are going to die before me and my spouse may or may not die before me, but losing your children. Exactly, Kim. So for his poor daughter also killed. Yep. I can't, I can't imagine, and I can't imagine, you do, Laura, you're right. I can't imagine at the same time. That has to just be the worst pain. To not have the the one other person in the world, it really does, Kelly. Right? I always say that. Something happens to Poodle. This is TMC. That's so sad. I can't, I cannot imagine what his wife is going through right now. Her mother is going through right now. Yes, Kelly. Wow. All right. And I which started off one way and did a completely different other, but um thanks guys and thanks for 
your support of me in the scope in a completely different way and supporting me and supporting my, my poodle, my daughter. And, um, and people being, like I said, people being absurd for no reason. It's not necessary. And this really puts people, and <laughs> sometimes a little thanks for FIFA really puts perspective on it. I'm gonna go um instead of going to hug a kitty to get over Perry drama, I'm gonna go hug on Poodle for a little while because I could not imagine having to deal with what <laughs> Thanks, Laura. What um what Kobe Bryant's wife's having to deal with right now. Bye, guys.